Hi, and welcome to Chiquita's Crochet. I am here with a um, digital kits, printouts, share, and project shares. Um, these are Luisa's digital kits. I have one old one, and then the other ones are more recent of within the last three months or two months. So I just wanted to share what I have printed out. I didn't print out any everything yet because I've been doing something. So I'm going to share this. Let's see. I'll do it this way. This is one of her old older kits. It is let's craft and get all these here that you see. I don't have anything printed out from there yet. Don't remember where I put it, but this is what you get. Um, I'll link everything down below after it um, uh, after this video is loaded up. But it is under my crafty boutique co on Etsy, um, Instagram, and YouTube. If you like to message her, message her on Instagram much faster so we have that one okay I didn't uh, print out the one that she has well actually I want to show you on the computer because I don't have the top to this one so let's see I'm gonna go on my computer should I show you Etsy Minecraft you can you can also um uh search the she has more I don't think I have a notebook inserts. But well, here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, here are the folders. Let me show you real quick. This one here are the folders, file folders that I just printed. You can see right there. Sorry about that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so here you see that. I think these, these are the ones that I printed. And I, I printed it on pink. On actually three different colors. Three different. Two pinks and that one. So that's the one I have here that I printed and I was running out of ink, so that's why it's like that. <clears throat> but the important part was on this side. So, and it's a pretty big one. And I haven't cut it out yet. Cut them out yet. I did a three. My favorite. This is definitely my favorite printout so far. So that's that one. These are the index. And those are oh, and they're four dollars. Sometimes she ha oh, she ha has them as a bundle also, so you can search them that way. And I am looking for what for oh here here's the index cards. Okay, well you can see better like that. That's your index downloadable file six jpeg files and one pdf and these are nice you can even make your own put a um regular paper inside <clears throat> and then it'll print it with the stripes so that would be cool so far i've printed almost all of them almost not all of them but that is hers and that these are some of the 
um, index cards. I couldn't get that word out. So that's that one. And I did not, I was too lazy to put it, you know, with a different color on the back. But I was thinking of decoupaging the back. Like that. And um, I'll do this with decoupaging, or however you say that, um, with a napkin. Um, I'll do a different video uh, crafting with it. So there's this one. I honestly, I love these. I'm thinking of something to do something with these really nice and these I have not printed out to and I thought I did but the ATC ones it's called ATC so that one goodness let me go to her channel it's easier uh, I didn't go to her channel because I put it with that. Okay, it's only the index ones was three dollars. The ATC, where's the ATC one? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> the artist, artist trading, artisan, something like that. Artist trading cards. There you go. They're right here. And she also gives you on this one a blank one. So you can put your own printer color. And the lines will come out. So you can cut them out. And you can do double sided on these. These can go double sided with these and this with that. Or you can mix and match or pick your own. Uh, by cutting them individually and putting them back to back. And it'll make it stiffer. If you do it on cardstock. So that would be good too. I did that and I'll show you in a minute uh, a sample that I did with those. Now, this was, as you can see, the color is totally different. Let me see if I can get my, my lighting here. I, I lowered the light to my phone so it looks kind of weird. Okay. Now... As you can see, this color looks totally different from this color here. It's when I didn't have any paper and I went to Dollar Tree and I got some paper and it came out that color. It looks like lavender. So there, the paper is really cheapy and really, really thin. I still can use this, but I did try doing double-sided like that on the paper and it worked. And I think if you can see let's see no you can't uh, but anyway it did come out on a like perfect outline there's no like a big offset in anything so that was good i loved it i'm gonna use this for something else um i like i said i already cut some out so these are missing and you can cut them out and piece them together which that's what I did with the ones that I actually wanted to be pieced with. And um, here's these here. There's that one. Oh, yes, I did. Look at that. It's right here. There you go. Five JPEG files, one PDF. So cool. I think I, I like this. I'm going to try this later. The one with your own. And this is what I did. I um, cut them separate. I print them out separately. Uh, cardstock. And I put them together. So I did that one. Um, I think it looks good like this. But I'm going to try to embellish it with glitter. Or something. Like I did this one here. I just did the little tiny bit right there. Cause it was late and I was tired but there's a music on the back on that one and then there's this one you can still write on this so it could be a trading card or it could be a um, journaling card this one here I'm just gonna share this because I the, this kit is somewhere I know I printed this out but I'll probably print it out again that's that kit right there 
These are the pockets, junk journal pockets, seven JPEGs, two PDF files. There's this one here. And she has more. I didn't print them out, like I said. But check out her um, Etsy. And her YouTube channel has some of her work, work in progress. Or some ones that she already did. Uh, projects with her digitals. And same here, the large tickets. You have this. You can do your own ticket, your own pockets. Large tickets and envelopes. And not pockets, envelopes. Sorry. Seven JPEG files and two PDFs. I did print out the envelopes because I like these. <laughs> For some reason, I like these. Um, I honestly think you can actually probably use them like this too maybe it'll look funny but still but they go like this it's like a big large coin envelope you have that one i did i print them all i'm not sure i also did some tags you should see the tags i did oh I forgot to print those. I mean, I do, but I have them somewhere. We have this one, the Eclectic Junk Journal. This is one of my favorite uh, digitals. Create your own folio stack junk journals. I couldn't be uh, designing because I was sick for a long time and I didn't want to. I just didn't feel like designing anything. Like, not designing, but working with the the digitals. So, and plus, I didn't have paper. I had to um, order paper and wait. <laughs> I finally have paper, so this is why I'm doing this now. But this is definitely one of my favorites, so I can't wait to work with that. Um, actually, I love it. I love them all. I love the color comparable that she used and the matching stuff. She does have bundles. This is the folio covers, 4 by 6 I did one, and I showed it to her and stuff, and I don't remember where I have it. If I remember before I did uh, finish, I'll let you know. These are the ephemera garment tags, check tags, and time cards. 5 JPEGs, 15 ephemera images, which this is all uh, printed out on that Dollar Tree paper. I printed it out on the electric paper. I'm still gonna use them. But there's the green. There's the orangey peachy color. There's the reddish blue. And if this is purple, I don't know, but it looks like pewter blue, something like that. Periwinkle blue. Okay, they're sliding off. This is another one that I love. This one, I love this one. Um, yeah, if we turn it around like that, landscape, you can fold it in half like that and use the stripes. Just cut out the size of it. Sorry, some cars are loud. Mm. But this is what they look like. Um, I love this. This is awesome. Even though you can make a big one, you can also do this. But like I said, if you print it out landscape, stretch it out, and it'll have the lines. But there's the greenish orangey one. The pink one, so cute. Love the pink one. Bluish, greenish. Blue with on blue. I don't know why well, there's no purple. Yeah, there's no purple. And then the orangey one. Then I played with another kit that she's she um has. I need to look for it because this I love this. Okay, I found it. I cannot believe that and even though okay. I don't do so uh don't celebrate holidays, but I love that she incorporated things that includes 
an all your use, which that kit is my Valentine, my crafty bit of kit. This one has these here. My favorite kit ever, no kidding. Um, the the paper, of course, because it has flowers. Roses are my favorite, and roses are all over this. And I'm going to show you what I did with this, too. And this here, I didn't put the bow. I forgot. And what else? I didn't get to finish everything, but I'll show you just a few. And, and a few. But I was testing it out. And I did double-sided. I love this. This is the Dollar Tree again. I was testing it when I had Dollar Tree paper. So all this is Dollar Tree. But this can go in a journal like this. It can be decoupaged. Cut these out and decoupage. So all these were test uh, pages that I did. And not much of a difference. So those are three tests. And this is another one that... The feed went wrong, but still can be used. And here's more. Another of my favorites, and I'll show you what I did before I started this video. Then, uh, this one. This one, only if you can do the landscape like that, it would have been a perfect journal cover like that. But with this image turned like that. Um, which it's possible, but it'll be shorter. So I love it. I'll oh, see here. I had it in the back. So those are the main ones I have on hand right now. And I'll show you a little bit of the projects that I made. Okay. Here's this one, and this one is from from her tote, the tote one. Let me see, where is it tote? I don't know, she made a lot of them. She was working her butt off. I mean, she was working a lot. <laughs> and this here is the tote that I'm talking about. This one here, and I made, of course, my favorite one is this one. It's a loaded tote, 15 JPEGs, and three PDFs. Uh, I am not sure what these are for here, but I have to go back to her video and check. Because I didn't put this anywhere or the strips, so I must have missed it. But um, I'm... This one here, I printed this one, this one, and this one that goes with it. And these are the uh, bigger pockets with the handle, and these are the smaller pockets with that on there. And then you can make your own. Um, she also added that. And I love that. This is perfect because if you have a theme and you have another digital, you can print out the digital, then put the paper back in and put this in there. And do that way. And here's the. I didn't print this out. I forgot. I missed doing that. So anyway, I'll show you that. So this is what I got. Let me take that out. <laughs> Glitter. Okay. Now what I did is cut out the main part. Uh, well, all the parts, obviously. But I did the box first. But I didn't complete the box. So I laid it all flat. That's when I added, I prepared all of the, the, the pockets and added the pockets completely flat like this. And it is actually way easier if you do that, then construct the, the box and then add the handle if you want to add the handle, which I don't know. Um, I had an idea, but well, if I do it, I'll, I'll, I'll share it, but I love it. It's pretty. And this is going to go for a, a little girl or a teenage girl that, um, her birthday's was yesterday, but, um, she's going to get it at church, uh, a little bit loaded on there. Not too much. Cause it, it's obviously tiny and it's not going to be for the heavy stuff, 
then um, this one here was part of that Valentine one. And I'm assuming it is a, like a file folder thing. But I cut out the three. And I did double-sided. Yeah. I figured it out. Um, what I did was to... Mm, I'll show you on the next one. But here. Double-sided on that. See? And if you make a lot of them, you can put all of them in here. See? Double-sided. Less of a stress. So that's that one. Then my favorites. <laughs> See? Um, this I made it for, for a list that I want to do a list. So I made these with my dyed paper in it. So beautiful. I'm going to put a lace on here to cover these staples. Um, I stippled it from that inside out so it will have the flat in the middle but double sided there you go that's that valentine one I think I love that one and the eclectic junk journal best for me that's my opinion but all is nice so beautiful so that one's for me I it's so difficult to write on it when it's dyed paper and digital it's not a, it's easier to write on something you didn't make. <laughs> Only because you know it's hard work and it's pretty. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty, especially the digital. Then I did two more of the uh, smaller ones. One is more chunky. I thought I did the same amount. Oh, no, I, I took out two pages on this. So this is eight and this has 10 full pages. Like that. So it I did also double sided. Look at this. It's ready to go. And I love polka dots. It is ready to go. And I put some of my dyed paper in there too. And then this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Double sided. I love this paper too. That is awesome. That's uh, of all for for these three and the inside. These are the two favorite ones because they're brighter. But you know, there's um brightness and muteness for everything. It's still beautiful. I love it. So I did three on the fly, and it is so easy to make too. Just. Print this out, double-sided, and you can pick your or your picture, uh, the inside. It doesn't have to be this one. In order to do that, you have to click on the image that you want. For example, if you want no, she wants to bark, she wants to bark. My husband's home. Okay. If you want this one inside of this one, you have to click on this image. And if it's, um, and then click on this image, hold down your, your, your command, command uh, button, and then click on this image without unclicking that one. And it'll click both. And then your choice is going to be print double sided. And that'll work. Trust me. I've tried it already. So thank you so much. Before she starts barking again and my husband coming in. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll be sharing more of my projects from my Crafty Boutique Coast Digitals. Bye.